Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. Instead of doing meat today, I'm going to show you some of my favorite barbecue sides. And the first one we're going to do is smoked mac and cheese. I mean, who doesn't love mac and cheese? I know we've all had grandmas does it in the oven. It's like a big casserole. Well, I'm kind of taking my spin on it and doing it outside on the smoker. We're going to get some good wood going, get some smoke on the top of that mac and cheese. We're topping it with a little bacon panko that I'm mixing up. So let's talk about how we're going to assemble this mac and cheese. The first thing, we're going to need some elbow macaroni noodles. And I just buy a box of noodles, cook them right according to the package directions, al dente. I don't want to overcook these noodles because we want them to still have some texture. Then we're going to need a good cheese sauce. And so I've already put the cheese sauce together, but what I have, we start with the roux. A couple tablespoons of flour, some butter, need a little fat in there to make that roux come together. Cook that a few minutes, add some heavy cream, and then start melting in your cheese. Now for this recipe, I use a pound and a half of cheese. I got one pound of extra sharp cheddar. That's what really gives it that flavor. And to balance it out, I use a little bit of Monterey Jack. And it makes just a beautiful cheese sauce. And right at the end, when that cheese sauce has come together, I add a couple tablespoons of Frank's hot sauce. So you can use whatever kind you like, but I really like the, that little vinegar essence that the Frank's brings. And it's got a little bit of, of garlic flavor in it too, which is gonna make that cheese sauce really stand out. So it's time to start putting the cheese sauce to the noodles. And I like my macaroni and cheese extra creamy, so I use that whole recipe for that 12 ounce box of elbow macaroni noodles. And we're also gonna add some mayo and sour cream. This is gonna bring this whole sauce together. Adds extra creaminess adds that zip that a good macaroni and cheese should have, that sharpness, really goes with that extra sharp cheddar. You just wanna mix it around. When that cheese sauce is hot, you know, those noodles can be, really soak in some of that flavor. Now as we're mixing it, I wanna just get my seasonings going. And I'm just gonna use some salt, pepper, garlic. My AP seasoning, it's real simple. It just needs a touch, just to give that macaroni and cheese some flavor. If you're measuring, just give it about a teaspoon. We've got it all combined. Now it's time to talk about what we're gonna cook it in. Now it's time to get it in your container you're gonna cook it in. You can use a casserole dish, but since we're going out on the smoker, I'm gonna use my trusty iron skillet. We're just gonna spoon the, it's, it's greased a little, got it really good seasoned. We're just gonna add our mac and cheese to it. Spread it out even, you don't wanna overfill it. If you got a little extra left over, hey, that'll make a mini one. So now it's time for the topping. And this is what really makes this mac and cheese special. I've got some panko breadcrumbs, but I took one package of thin sliced bacon and browned it up real nice. Put it in the food processor, let it chop it up to where it's you know pretty fine. It's not like a dust, it still has some bacon texture, but it really pulls in that bacon grease, that fat. And instead of adding butter to these pankos, we could just mix that bacon mixture back with it. And it makes this awesome topping. It's gonna provide us a crunch Give us that great bacon flavor and it's gonna absorb in some of that smoke that we have when we put this out on the grill. So let's top this mac and cheese. You don't have to go real heavy with it, just spread it out. We want that crust to develop. Anytime you add bacon to something, it's gonna be good and especially mac and cheese. All right, I know this mac and cheese looks ready to eat just like this. And it's hard, push back a little because we got to let it cook for about an hour. Um, I've got my pellet grill going outside. Got some pecan pellets in there, generating some smoke. Whatever you're cooking on, just make sure you hold that temp at 350. We're gonna need about an hour. We're cooking it uncovered. We want that smoke to get all around this pan, get it nice and happy, infuse that, and melt that cheese more. I know that mac and cheese looked a little runny, but it's supposed to be like that because it's gonna tighten up. Those noodles are gonna swell a little more and they're gonna soak up all that flavor. And in one hour, we're gonna have an awesome smoked mac and cheese barbecue side. Let's get it outside. All right, so I've got my pellet grill fired up, sitting on 350 degrees. Got some of those pecan pellets in there generating a nice smoke. We're gonna get this mac and cheese right on the grate. And like I said, it's gonna take about an hour. So we're not really gonna have to mess with it. We're just gonna let it sit here, let it cook an hour. We'll come back and check on it. It's gonna be ready to roll. Show you what it looks like here when it's done. Okay, the mac and cheese has been on for about an hour and I had to get a little sneak peek in there and make sure it was all bubbly and good. And it is ready. Check this out. 
want you to see how the cheese is kind of browned around the edges and made that crust bubbled out in a few places but hey that's okay but you can see it's smoking hot man that cheese is all melted everything's bubbling in there we're going to take it inside and you don't want to taste this right now <laughs> and bad as you want to that's like hot lava so we're going to get it inside let it hang out a little bit then we'll plate this up a little bit and try it but that's it smoked mac and cheese a little bit of panko bacon topping Oh, it's going to be so good. That's a side that everybody will remember at your next barbecue. All right, so we're back inside. We've got our smoked mac and cheese ready to try. Just to talk about what we did a little bit, you know, we took some basic elbow macaroni noodles, made us a cheese sauce with that extra sharp cheddar cheese and a little Monterey Jack, mixed in some mayo, some sour cream, just to add some richness to it and hit it with some hot sauce too and that cheese sauce to balance it out, add just a bit of spice. Um, for seasonings, we went simple with the AP, the salt, the pepper, and the garlic. That was real easy. And we just got a really great home-style mac and cheese. And we kicked it up one more level by adding that bacon to our panko mixture to make this crust. And we threw it out on the pit for one hour at 350 with some pecan smoke. And this is what we had. So now let's get some out on the plate see what we're working with. I mean, you can see it, it made a nice crust on it. Some of that cheese is kind of brown, but nowhere near burnt. That's just a perfect mac and cheese. And it was real runny and creamy, but now look how thick it's set up. A lot of that moisture has been absorbed by those macaroni noodles. And you get that crunchiness with that panko and bacon all mixed in. That's what makes an awesome macaroni and cheese. All right, man, I can't wait to try this mac and cheese. Mmm. Oh, it's creamy, it's rich. You get all those cheeses coming through. Really like that crunch that topping gives it. Awesome, awesome smoked mac and cheese. Hey, don't forget about the sides when you're out there cooking barbecue, man. You can use that smoker to do some awesome stuff. You know, get that temp up to about 350. Give this macaroni and cheese a try. You'll never cook it in the oven again, and your wife will love you for it. See you next time.